and welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. My name is Gary. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am to bring to you somebody that I have been following for quite some time and just brings amazing content, has been doing webinars that just brings amazing content as well. So guys, y'all give it up for none other than the incredible Rich Williams. <laughs> The Incredible, yeah. Incredible, that's, that's his my own new, mind. Yes. That's my new nickname for you, The Incredible Rich yes, Williams. Yes, yes, so, great. Rich, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I want to give you a chance to share a little bit more about who you are and what you do. Yeah, Rich Williams with the richwilliams.com. And of course, I do uh, speaking, training, and coaching for leadership, sales, and stress and anxiety management. So, that's my basic spiel. Yeah, but yeah. Glad, glad to be here, Gary. Excited oh, thank you so much. So I have to be, I have to be transparent, and I have to tell you of a, a goof that I made, and tell you how amazing Rich is. We've already done this. We've already had our our interview, our our uh, show, but you know what? I forgot to record. I hit. I forgot to hit the record button. But because Rich is such an incredible leader, incredible human, he agreed to be generous with this time and come back and. This is this is try two, and it's going to be amazing. I just so, like Gary, you know. <laughs> you become like those you hang around, right? So right, kind of hang around good people, you know. And I can't I can't thank you enough. So, Rich, I, like I said, you are one of those incredible people. Uh, you got great content. Uh, you deliver such amazing webinars and such such great information and inspiration. So I always love to connect with inspiring leaders, peek behind the curtain to find out what inspires inspiring leaders. And so Rich, I reached out to you and, and asked you, hey, what inspires you? You came back with three incredible topics I don't wanna to get to today. And, and the first one you brought up was my family. So tell us why does your family inspire you? Well, I've, I've been married for 37 years to the same woman. So yes, that's uh, amazing. I have four boys. Um, youngest is 20. Only one still living in the house. And, you know, I think what inspires me most about them is how different they are. I mean, hmm. you know, I'm the same father, the same mother. <laughs> and why are they so different? But, I, you know, I had a friend of mine tell me that, you know, uh, as you grow, you change. And as you grow, you parent different, right? Hmm. And so I think... Um, yeah, I, I think it's. I'm inspired by how well they turned out despite me. I'm inspired by, you know, by how cool they are. And I mean, we all have the same sense of humor, which is cool, but they're all so different and so um, unique in their own way. And it, it just inspires me that uh, my boys are are doing good and living good lives. So, yeah, I thought what an incredible kind of thing. You know, we, we all grow, you know, I, I love how you said, you know, we all grow through life and we, we kind of change our approach periodically here and there. And what's really neat is you recognize the uniqueness uh, in, in each of your sons. And so you grow and change the way you parent because you recognize their uniqueness. And apparently you've done some amazing stuff because they're grown, they're doing well. So I mean, what a great reason to be proud and, and to be inspired to see the success of your children. So congratulations. 37 years. Yes, yes. yes. Three successful children. Man, that's four, 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 four boys. Four. That deserves yeah. a that deserves a round of applause, yes, sir. Yes, that's you. that inspires yeah. me. So congratulations. Yes. <laughs> well, you, you know, Rich, the, the second thing you shared with me that inspires you, which which I truly love as well, is watching people grow towards their potential. And I, I love this, this comment to the statement. So tell us what that means to you and how does that inspire you? You know, when you, when I mean, you're a speaker as well as I am. And when you speak, you know, sometimes you don't see a change or you don't see anybody, you know, but when you start doing training and you start doing coaching and you're seeing somebody and you're seeing them rise to the level of their, of, of their potential, it's exciting. I mean, it inspires me. And especially when someone goes, you know what? I, I am not happy with this area of my life, and I'm going to make a change, and I'm going to, I'm going to take these steps, or I'm going to leave this person, or I'm going to do whatever because I want to be better. I want to reach my potential, and so yeah, I mean that inspires me when people, you know, decide to make a difference, make a change, and and grow in their own life. So and, and it's fun, you want know, to be to be a part of that, right? Yeah, absolutely. And and it's neat when you're standing from stage and 
and you're sharing some information, sharing your, your presentation. And then when you see that aha moment from a participant in the audience, mm-hmm. that's a neat feeling. Yes, yes. I, and, and I love that. And and you have a chance where you coach people and you kind of help them ask themselves the right questions to, re- to figure out one, what their potential is, and then two, that encouragement to have them kind of march towards that potential. Is that kind of the the approach that you take to help people get to their potential? Yeah, I mean, you know, coaching, uh, uh, you know, people that I've coached think that I do great. Me personally, <laughs> I'm going, you know, because you, you coach somebody and then you say, hey, you know, I mean, in coaching, you want them to make the decision. You want them to, you know, say, I'm going to do this. And you, yes, you encourage them. Yes, you direct them. But sometimes like after the third or fourth time, you go, come here, I want to tell you something. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop it. You know, right? Right now, wow, just do what I told you to do and you'd be great. You know, don't, quit quit trying to make it on your own. Anyway, so, and, and, you know, coaching sometimes is frustrating because people don't, but, you know, I mean, it, it's, um, people don't, I mean, people don't change. I always say my pappy says, right? My pappy says, people don't change until the pain of staying the same is greater than the pain of changing. And so, you know, we, we don't, until we, it, it's painful. We're going to stay like we are because it's easier because we like it and because it's what we know. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's um, I love coaching people because I love I love to watch them grow. And especially people who really want to make a difference. Right. Who really want to change, who really want to get better. Um, And so, you know, that's inspiring to me. Yeah. Yeah. And and what a neat feeling, because I guess when you're when you're connecting with somebody or coaching somebody, you, you can see that potential in them and you 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 become their cheerleader to help them you know, start moving towards that. And it, and I, and I know your frustration as a leader, you know, it, you know what they can do and yet they're just kind of sitting in this little comfort ooze and they're, they're not getting out of it to get to that potential. So, right. but when they do, yes, man, that's, that's huge. Everybody's that's happy. Huge. That's right. The that's coach that. is happy. The leader is happy and the person Everybody's is happy. happy yeah. <laughs> I love that. And, you, and, and Rich, there's the third thing that you shared with me, which I truly love, what inspires you is when you're speaking, training and coaching. So this sounds like kind of like the, the activity. This is the this is the action piece of your life that inspires you. So tell us what that means to you when you're at, when you're when you're speaking, training and coaching. How does that inspire you? You know, I, I mean, I've been through this with, with, I think, all four of my boys, you know, what makes you happy in life? What jazzes you? What, you know, yeah. I don't know if you've ever saw the movie um, uh, Chariots of Fire, right? Mm. Remember that movie? Yes, yes. Uh, you know, and he goes, I feel his glory when I run, you know, and so, <laughs> you know, when when do you feel his glory? When do you get excited? When do you get jazzed? Mm. And, and, and I know personally, when I'm speaking or I'm training or I'm coaching, I, I feel inspired myself. I feel um, jazzed. I feel excited. I, I mean, I, you know, um, yes, do I love the attention of being up front? Yeah, sure. But I mean, I, I love, um, I don't know, I just, I get a kick out of speaking. I get a kick out of doing webinars. I get a kick out of, you know, my little one minute videos um, just <laughs> because, you know, I'm sharing and I'm, and, I'm, and I'm hopefully making an impact in someone's life, you know, so that I'm, I'm hopefully inspiring someone, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I don't, well, you inspire me. Yes. <laughs> I love that. And, and one of the cool things that y- you mentioned is, you know, this is what jazzes you. This is what, you know, you've really connected with. And I think when when we find our purpose, if you will, right. and, you know, something that really just resonates with us and we would do it for free, but we get paid for it. So it's just all the better. But when you find that purpose, then that is just true, like, there's nothing bad. There's not a better feeling than actually walking in that purpose. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, and, and I, I sat down many years ago, of course, I'm, I'm probably, you know, a hundred years older than you, Gary, but uh, <laughs> you know, I, I sat down years ago and I go, what, what is my purpose? You know, why am I here? And so, you know, my purpose I came up with was, you know, whose life can I make better today? And yeah. so, you know, and, 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 you know, I did a video just, I think a week ago or two weeks ago, you know, there are no neutral conversations, either positive positive or negative, but there's nothing yeah. neutral. So either I have a positive impact on you because I speak life or I say something encouraging or I, you know, I also did a video on the, you know, the three second rule. And that's not like when food drops on the floor, right? That's five seconds, by the way. But, you know, the 30 second rule is in the first 30 seconds of meeting someone, do you make them feel good? 
do you make them feel loved, accepted, right? Yeah. Um, you know, Velma, our friend, she just did one on, you know, people want to be seen, uh, heard, and, uh, or what is it? Three things, seen, known, and felt, or seen, known, heard. Um, and so, you know, people want to feel good about themselves, right? Yeah. And so in that first 30 seconds, can I make a difference? Um, mm. Can I make an impact on them? Whether I say, man, your hair looks great today, Gary, you know, or- Oh, hey, thank that, you. That, I love that plaid shirt. That's a good color on you, you know, or whatever, <laughs> right? Um, you know, uh, something encouraging, something truthful, something honest that I, you know, I'm not telling stories, but you know, who, who, you know, if my purpose is whose life can I make better today, then my whole, per my whole goal is when I meet with somebody, you know, how can I, how can I make them better? What can I do to impact their life in a positive way? Or if I start off bad, which, you know, sometimes I do, yeah. Uh, what can I do to to turn that around and to let them, when they walk away from me, they go, man, you know, I, I feel better because of spending time with him. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. And there's that intentionality that you've, you focused on that, you know, and like you said, the first 30 seconds, Hey, I am going to transform this person's day. It's not going to be a transactional encounter where it's just a, you know, boom, boom, done. It's, I'm going to do something to make this person walk away feeling better than when they saw me initially. And I think that's so cool. But one thing I want to go back to, Rich, that you kind of alluded to was years ago, you said you wanted to figure out what your purpose was and you wanted to figure out what do you want? And I think that's a lot. A lot of us never truly figure out or ask ourselves, what do I want? And we just kind of do what we sh think we should do, but never truly ask that question of ourselves. And and I think, Rich, what you said there is so powerful that you asked yourself, what do I want? Is that kind of how you you figured out which direction yeah. to go? I mean, you know, my pappy used to say, we have to bring him up again. But <laughs> I love pappy, your pappy. That's right. I love sky. my pappy. <laughs> my pappy used to say that people spend more time planning their vacation than they do their lives. You know, and, and you know, I worked with people for years and they would go, oh, I can't wait, I'm going to Jamaica, I'm on, yeah, I'm on. And you're going, oh, cool, great. How do you like work? Oh, hey, I hate it, you know. Oh, okay. What are you doing about it? Nothing, I've been there seven years, I'll just keep being there. Oh, you know, and you just go, what are you, nuts? Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I love being happy. I, I, I mean, who doesn't love being happy? And so, yeah, why not do something that, that you enjoy, something that you are passionate about, something, you know, that has a purpose for your life, right? Um, and, and I think that's where, um, you know, we all want to know why we're here, yeah. right? And wow. so, you know, and especially with my four boys, you know, my, uh, my, I mean, you know, my third son graduates in, in uh, July from college with a finance degree, right? And, and he's going, oh, and he, he's, a, he's a waiter at a, at a seafood restaurant downtown St. Pete. And he goes, you know, what should I do next, Dad? And I go, okay, well, you got a finance degree, so you can do what your second, you know, my second son has a finance degree and he works for a finance company. And he goes, does he sit at a desk all day? And I go, yes, he does. He goes, I can't do that. I'm like, okay, well, well, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm going through the process with him of, you know, what, what, what do you get jazzed about? What do you get excited oh, yeah. about? You know, what, what do you, you know, um, what makes you happy? Right. And so, you know, is there a way for us to find out at, at that age? Heck, when I was 23, I didn't have a clue. Right. I mean, you know, yeah. Um, you know. I didn't figure this out till I was, I was old, you know, um, which is sad, you know, and so, and, you know, and maybe that, that's what we can do, you know, through this, through your message, Gary, we can help people, you know, find out what their purpose is in life and oh, what, what they, where they want to go, what they want to do, yeah. how they can be, right? What of that, what, I think that is like such a, a mic drop moment in, in, in this conversation today is taking a moment and finding out what do you what do you want what's your purpose and what makes you happy and then once you figure that out figure out how you can monetize that and make a life through that and and i love rich that you know one you did it for yourself and two now you're doing it with your sons so that they lead a life that makes them happy that fulfills their purpose and and when that happens man you 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 create a transformational experience for everybody that encounters you yeah, I hope so. And, and you, yeah. know, you know, even when you, you know, I coach salespeople and I coach uh, executives and, and, and leaders and entrepreneurs and all that good stuff. And, you know, in that coaching process, yes, we're talking about sales or we're talking about leadership or we're talking about whatever. But most of it comes back to what is your purpose? 
what 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 jazzes you what makes you uh-huh. excited what makes you happy you know and and for some you know for some people you know they've been doing the same thing for so many years that they don't know and so they just know that you know i make a good living do what i'm doing and i'm yeah seem to serve in my purpose but i'm i'm not really happy so yeah. you know i'm just i'm just spending more time planning my vacation and not figuring out what makes me yeah. happy <laughs> yeah yeah and and then, you know some people are going to do that for the rest of their lives yeah and then there's nothing we can do about it so Oof. yeah and we just fall into the should of and not right. what the we could do yes oh so good rich Man, it's it's so wonderful to chat with you and, and and just get this inspiration from you. And thank you for for sharing with me today and, and sharing with all of us. We're up to the end of our time, but I want to give you a chance to share a closing thought with us before we we wrap up. Yeah, I mean, I I would say you know we're talking about being inspired. So what inspires you, and what can you do to change to to do that for a living? You know, what can you do in your life to to say, you know what, I've always been inspired to do this. And so I'm going to, you know, if, if I can't leave my real job, then I'm going to at least make it a hobby. If I'm, if I can't afford to, to go do it full time, then I'm going to at least make it a passion line that I do on, on my off hours. So, you know, what is your purpose in life? What inspires you? And that, and that's what you need to, you know, sit down with a yellow pad, you know, somewhere private and figure it out, you know, write it out. Ask your friends, ask your family, what am I good at? What am I, what do we, what do I like to do? You know, what, yeah. what do you see me happy and passionate about? Right. Wow. That Rich, that is probably one of the best questions. You can just stop, take a moment and ask yourself, write down notes. Like, like you said, ask friends, family alignments. What do you see? that's probably one of the most valuable questions you can stop and ask yourself rich that is that's brilliant thank you everyone i want to challenge you with asking yourself that question take a moment this is your homework from this episode what inspires you write down write down some notes start taking action towards it to transform your life and you can thank rich for for making it happen (laughs) rich thank you so much guys make sure you check out rich on linkedin it's just incredible content. If you want to get in touch with Rich, check out his website, therichwilliams.com. Connect with them. Absolutely amazing, inspiring. Thank you so much for joining us today on another episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. Thank you, Rich. And we will see you on the next episode. We'll see you guys. Take care.